Yes, hello champions, Elias Moz here. Very delighted to join you this week, share with you tips you can use to grow your business. Those of us who are new to the channel, you're most welcome. I'm really delighted to mentor you, to coach you, and show you how I was able to grow the business. Please make sure you subscribe and ask your team to subscribe so that they are part of our growing family. Uh, but also very importantly, I'm also the author of this wonderful book, The Master Key, to Network Marketing Success. This is our French version, and um, uh, which is already in selling different um, uh, uh, French-speaking countries, but there is also the English version uh, that's in different bookstores, including Aristoc in, in Uganda and many other bookstores across East Africa. You can also be able to get yourself a, uh, an online version of this book here uh, from Amazon, from Ibua, and you can be able to really, really uh, uh, make sure that you are able to grow in this business. Uh, I want This week, I want to share with you a very interesting topic and uh, we are going to share three keys for long-term business growth. I just came from China. I uh, spent uh, about one month in China. Uh, well, really, I spent uh, about uh, three weeks in China, then one week in um, in India. And then uh, after that, I spent one week home uh, resting to make sure that I come back to the business. That's one month and one week away from the business. Now, ordinarily, um, many, many business leaders may not want to spend all that time away from their business because they think, uh, me who's doing network marketing, they think that uh, probably they'll find when their team has quit, they'll find when uh, the business not moving, but no, for me, the business was growing. In fact, the incomes were coming. How is it possible? It is possible if you have to grow your business to the right what principles. So what are the three ways in which you can be able to grow a long-term business, a business that can happen and thrive without you. We've also seen a lot of people into network marketing who have built organizations that they pass on and still their businesses are able to grow uh, um, um, because they, they, um, even when they are passed on. Why is that possible? It's because they have really built their businesses on the right fundamental principles. Now, first of all, uh, the three keys, um, um, fundamental keys to grow a long-term business. Number one is a great vision and mission. A great vision and mission. Now, a great vision defines where you want your business to be, where you want it to go, how big and massive you want it to be. Basically, when your business has become a success, what would you have achieved? When you say, oh my goodness, I've reached there. Yes. I've, I'm now, I uh, may be probably, if I may, holding the trophy. What is that? Where would your business be when you say, I'm now holding the what? The trophy. Are we together? So where do you see yourself in the future? Now, without a, a vision, uh, if your vision is not very clear, then unfortunately, the grass is always greener on the other side of the bush or the fence. Why? Because um, every if you don't have a great vision, then it means that every time you are changing, the goalpost, the yardstick, you are changing the goals. Today, um, maybe if today you want to achieve uh, rank X, and then before you know it, you know, you are, after a few weeks, you now want to achieve rank Y, or you want to achieve goal X, the other day you want to achieve goal M. So basically, you are moving up and down. Like you basically, you are jumping from one thing to another, one thing to another. You don't know what your, uh, what your business should really look like. So have a great vision and that vision should be solid, should be strong, should be clear. It's something that you should be able to live every day. Now, after having the vision, have what they call a mission. A mission is what you do on a daily basis to achieve the what? The vision. Let me share with you from my personal experience. Uh, as many of you know, uh, in 2015, uh, when I joined the company called Alliance Motion Global, I set out a vision that was the vision to have the biggest team in Africa and turn thousands of people from ordinary people to become extraordinary millionaires. So basically to have the biggest team in Africa, that's what I was looking for, working for. Now, come on, there are so many goals I could have worked for. I could have worked to have the biggest trunk. I could have worked to earn the most money. I could have worked to have... Um, I don't know, uh, so many things to have a car, to have a lot of land, but I zero down on one thing that I want to have the biggest team in Africa. Now, have that great vision that if you achieve it, all other small goals will be automatic. Come on. If you have the biggest team in Africa, then it means titles and ranks are obvious. The cars are obvious. The mansions are obvious. The recognition is obvious. The fame is obvious. So basically, have that vision that is so strong that by the time you achieve it, all other 
things you'll have done what achieved them now on top of that have a mission a mission like i said is what you do on a daily basis now a mission uh the mission that i created during that time is that uh, the vision was to have the biggest team in africa the mission was to have the best training and support system for my team and turn ordinary people from um, uh, um, uh, being uh, ordinary people into professional networkers that is to have the best training support system and turn ordinary people into professional networkers. I knew that me who was into network marketing, the moment I have a well-trained team, at the moment I uh, then it means I can become successful. The moment I can get a raw person, a teacher, a, an accountant, a bank, an engineer, a, a student, a professor who has never done anything on network marketing, but I can create a training and support system that can help them become uh, a professional networker, then it means I can have the biggest team in Africa. That's what I lived for every day. Someone could say, I could have food, say to train um, products or train whatever it is, but that the mission, my mission for me was in alignment with the vision that I had. Now, don't have my vision, don't have my mission, have your vision and your mission for your business. With that, I promise you, you'll have a long-term business. Uh, point number two is great financial management. Now, when, when you talk about financial management, many of us think about financial management is about uh, probably earning a lot of money and saving a lot of money and being stringent and a bit stingy with your money and all that. Yes, that is good. It's part of financial management. But with financial management, if you're looking at a long-term business, financial management is investing your business in the right place. Sorry, investing your money in the right place. So the money that you earn from the business must and should be invested in your vision and in your mission. It, the money that you're putting into your business must only and only speak to your vision and the mission. And that is why during that time, because I had a vision to have the biggest team in Africa and a mission to turn ordinary people into professional workers by providing for them the best training and support system, I invested most of my money geared towards that direction in team expansion, in us going to other countries, in creating the best training centers, in making sure that we have nice working projectors and laptops and what of you, in making sure we have good trainings, we bring in trainers, we do exchange programs. Basically, it was really geared to making sure my team is sharp and productive, but also importantly, we are moving across so many countries. And I want to say that in our company, the visionary team is the reason why we have been able to expand to so many countries in East Africa, in Central Central Africa, in South Africa, and some other countries in West Africa. Why? Because of that vision and mission that we had. So uh, it is very important for us to be able to have uh, great financial management, but financial management design in such a way that it speaks and uh, to your vision and to your mission. Point number three in us be able, being able to create a, a business that stands a test of time is great people. Your business must have great people. One of the key reasons why the visionaries has expanded across the whole of Africa and probably all over the world is because we focus on recruiting the very best people within our team, within our organization. Because the most important asset for a business is the team, people on your team, and the people that you serve. Those are the greatest assets. The quality of people on your team and the people you serve. And I want suggest that the moment you have quality people on your team, then the customer service will be great and the profits will be very great. This is what I mean. In network marketing, for example, or basically all over the world in business, your team must be happy, must be engaged, must be well-skilled, and most importantly, must be motivated. So the moment you have a team that is um, happy, that is um, engaged, that is well-skilled, that is motivated, then you have a great, 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 great team. But then also importantly, then that team will take care of your prospects, your customers, and fellow team what members. So the key asset is to focus on having a quality team, but on top of having a quality team, have great trainings for your quality team. The moment you do that, I promise you, your business will stand a test of time. Otherwise, thank you so much, champions, for listening to me. Please make sure if you are new to this channel, subscribe, share the link to many of your team members, ask them to subscribe, get yourself a copy of the master kit to network market success, but also most importantly, uh, you can get it uh, offline uh, through different bookstores, including Aristoc in Uganda. You can get it from my office, you can get it online, you can get it in Kenya and Tanzania. It's very easy. My team is ready to serve you to make sure you get yourself a copy of the master key. Otherwise, thank you so much and may God bless you. See you at the very top.